All right, what is up, guys? Brian here, and this is my SmackDown Live recap and thoughts about last night's episode of SmackDown. So let's get right into it. Uh, we started off uh, SmackDown last night with a uh, uh, a police escort of the new WWE war, uh, champion, Jinder Mahal. Uh, of course, last night on SmackDown was to was gonna was uh, um, gonna be a a Punjabi celebration for Jinder Mahal, who won the WWE Championship this past Sunday at Backlash uh, from Randy Orton. Uh, we then would cut to the arena where Shane McMahon would come out and he would announce uh, two matches for the uh, upcoming Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view, uh, which is uh, SmackDown's next uh, pay-per-view event. Uh, one would be that Randy Orton will get his rematch for the WWE Championship against Jinder Mahal, and that will happen at Money in the Bank. Uh, Shane McMahon would then announced the participants for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, they were none other than AJ Styles, Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the United States Champion Kevin Owens would be added to that match as well after a bit of a back and forth. Uh, Shane McMahon then announced two matches for, la for last night's SmackDown. One was going to be a rematch from Backlash, Baron Corbin versus Sami Zayn. He then he also announced a tag team match to take place, which was which would feature AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Dolph Ziggler and the United States Champion Kevin Owens. And I'll get into those matches in just a little bit. Uh, but the opening match was uh, kind of a rematch from this past Sunday's Backlash. It was the welcoming committee's uh, Carmella and Natalia taking on Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Of course, Tamina, James Ellsworth, they were in Carmella and Natalia's uh, corner. And Naomi, the SmackDown Women's Champion, she was in uh, Becky's and Charlotte's corner. Um, this one was an okay match uh, with a different result than, than on Sunday. Uh, Becky Lynch would uh, make Carmella tap out to the disarmer um, so uh, to pick up the win for her team. Um, later on in the night, uh, all five of the women, all five women, uh, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Na uh, Natalia, Carmella, and Tamina, they would go to Shane McMahon's office to make uh, their claim as to as far as being number one contender. Shane McMahon then announced that next week on SmackDown there's going to be a fatal five-way elimination match with the winner facing Naomi at Money in the Bank for the SmackDown Women's title. So that was a that's going to be a huge matchup next week. Um, of course, we had Baron Corbin one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn. Uh, this one was a bit of a short one because uh, Baron Corbin. Uh, Started out strong, but then got rolled up by Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn won this match, but then after the match, Baron Corbin attacked Sami Zayn to the point where uh, during the commercial break, they had to bring out a, they had to uh, put Sami Zayn on a stretcher. Uh, so it'll be interesting to uh, interesting to see what happens next week. Um, we had, of course, we had the Punjabi celebration. For um, uh, for the new WWE Champion Jinder Mahal, uh, com uh, complete with uh, uh, Punjabi dancers, uh, a band, um, uh, you know, sh uh, there was a sh like a, a streamer around the ring, uh, fireworks afterwards, um, all in celebration of Jinder Mahal winning the WWE Championship on Sunday. Jinder would then get on the mic and say, start saying that people didn't believe in him. They didn't believe he could beat Randy Orton. They didn't believe he could become WWE Champion. All this stuff, uh, you know. And that was pretty much it. I mean, this was a pretty much a short segment. 
Um, but moving on, uh, we had in a mat in two matches that were set up by Shane McMahon. Uh, one was Tyler Breeze versus Jay Uso. That ended with Tyler Breeze picking up the win in a short matchup with a roll up after Fandango hit Jay Uso or sprayed Jay Uso with the uh, with a water gun. Uh, and then it was Fandango's turn to uh, to fa uh, face Jimmy Uso, and Fandango won this one uh, because of a bit of a distraction by Tyler Breeze and uh, uh, Jay Uso who were on the outside. Fanda and then this led to a SmackDown Live tag team title match um, being made for right then and there. Uh, the Usos retained the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles over Breezango a bit in a rematch from this past Sunday's Backlash. Um, there were a couple of other... Um, uh, there was no other segments, uh, according to my notes here. Uh, the main event, of course, was that tag team match. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens, the United States Champion. Uh, all four of these guys were involved in matches on Sunday at Backlash. You know, Owens defeated Styles via countout, and Nakamura defeated Ziggler. Um, this was a pretty good tag team matchup. Nothing really special. Uh, Nakamura uh, defeated Kevin Owens after hitting the Kinshasa. Um, so that was good to see him uh, winning his debut SmackDown or SmackDown Live debut match. Uh, and then SmackDown ended with uh, Nakamura and AJ Styles uh, staring down each other, looking up at the Money in the Bank briefcase. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens between these two, plus the other four superstars that were that are entered coming up at Money in the Bank. Uh, but overall, uh, SmackDown Live last night I thought was uh, was a pretty good show. Uh, coming off the heels of Backlash. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week as far as the uh, women's, that, you know, that fatal five-way women's match um, as well as what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks with, uh, you know, with all these different feuds that are going to be coming up, that are coming up at like Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship, the Money in the Bank ladder match, you know, it's going to be intriguing to see what happens, you know, over the next couple of weeks heading into Money in the Bank. So, uh, with that being said, um, if you guys watched SmackDown Live last night, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Uh, like I said, my thoughts on SmackDown was I thought it was a pretty good show. So, with that being said, this has been my SmackDown Live recap. As always... I am Brian, and thank you for watching.